welcome all of you nana here and then uh, we have already seen the structure creation in a very slow manner now no, i am going to make it fast now so let me create an enterprise structure in a very fast manner since you have already learned the concepts of each and every topic every task actually so i will not be explaining anything i will go ahead and then do it now so now it's a 905 let me start the activity and then see what how fast i am creating it so I, my plan is to complete it in about uh, 45 minutes time now i'll let's go there and see it now. so let's go there let me open up my worksheet worksheet is not getting open now so go there worksheet is open so let's now go there and then create this structure actually <clears throat> so the first activity i am not going to do now fine i'm not going to second activity uh, what happens i create an implementation user for the secondary console okay fine next next is what i'm not going to go and then create a user actually go there. so let me go there and then open up one of the instances over here so 95 i have started now and select it and then i'm not going to go for 21 now this time fine let me go there 21 i will not go there <clears throat> so i will not go and then take up the password over here and take up the password so let me go there click on it and then go there and then i will not choose one of the users actually fine go there so it's a prc uh, say let's say 12 dot uh, student fine. one of the users out of 40 i'm choosing it and i'm pasting this one and i'm going inside now so let me go inside into the system and then i will now create a user now <clears throat> Click on it. I will not get you. Click on it. I will not go to tools. <clears throat> I will not go to the tools. Fine. Here in the top, we'll be having tools now. Fine. No need to customize this thing now. Fine. Go to the tools and then go to the security console. Fine. I will go to the tools and then security console. And then let me create a user. Now. So go there. So click on the users and then let us now create a user. <clears throat> Fine. User, add a user account. I'm going to add it now. Fine. Click on it. It is. I will not say. I will not take K01 underscore this time. I'm going to take a different prefix. Always, what I was do not use my G03. Everybody, everybody is using G03. It will not work at all. Fine. You use you use your own uh, prefixes actually. Last thing is what IMP is an implementation user. And then I will now say I am not going to put it. Now I am going to now dot app sixty at gmail dot com. I am now putting my mail ID over here now. The system automatically populates the first name dot last name. I will now remove the dot now. Fine. I will now remove the dot and go there. Password. I am now putting the password over here now and go there. So let us now put the password over here. <coughs> Go there and then click on add role. I'm going to add the role now. Fine. One is the IT security manager. I'm going to add it now. <clears throat> click on add role. So it is IT security manager of Vora. I'm going to add it and select it and then click on add roles. <clears throat> and then go there. Application implementation consultant. Application implementation consultant of Vora. Fine. Go there. Application implementation consultant of Vora. I'm choosing it now. Fine. Select it and then click on it. And then I'll add employee also. Go there. EMP employee. I'm going to add it now. Fine. Employee over. That's okay. Fine. That's just sufficient. I'm going to click on it. Click on add. Them. And that's it. Done. Fine. But the user is created. So let alone give a save and close and then exit. And then I will now log in with the user. Now. So the first activity is now getting completed now. So you know that. I added the roles. Fine. That. I'm not going to run it. It doesn't matter. Fine. You, you can even run it later on. I will not log it and then I will not configure offerings also. I'm not going to do it. This also, I'm not going to do it. Seventh step is not in the quiet. It's only for information purposes. Don't touch anything. We'll now go there and then create a location straight away now. And take out of it and go there. So let me log out and log in. Sign out and sign in now. <clears throat> Click on confirm. And then I'm signing in now. So it's a K01 underscore IMP. Fine. Go there. I will not put the password over here now. And then log in. So it is IMP user, implementation user, used for only setting up. I'm going to click on it. I will not go there, click on it. I will not go and then get the locations. I'm going to click on setup and maintenance and then go ahead and then get the locations. So go to this and then go to the search now. Fine. Click on search and then paste the task name and then entry now. It will be coming. So click on it and then let us now create the location search. So click on create. I'm not going to create it now. So we're creating three locations. Fine. Go there. Click on it. It's a K01 underscore lock underscore zero is the one. So take a copy of it and then I put in the code and then paste in the description also. Fine. Go there. Go on. And then in the zip code, I go there 10020 and then give a tab now. So once we give a tab, I'm choosing one of them. Fine. Go there. Go on it. And then I know with the address line now. Fine. K01 and address zero. Fine. That is it. Fine. Go there. Click on it and then give a submit by which the first location is now getting created. So click on yes now. Fine. Not that. <clears throat> We'll go and then create the two more locations for this exercise now. Fine. We need three locations for our hierarchical approval actually. I click on create now. <coughs> oh, there is a K01 underscore lock underscore one now. I take copy of it and then put the code, <coughs> put in the description now. Go down and then the zip code 10020 and then give it a tap and then choose one of them now. I click on OK now. And then write the address line number one. Line number one is the mandatory field and so what happens? You had to write it now. I click on it and then we'll know it. It's a K01. Fine. Address one is the one and go up 
and then click on submit by which the second location is now getting created and that one and then located the third location one for the master and then two for the child we need it now click on create go there and then do it and is a k01 underscore so lock underscore two now <clears throat> so take a copy of it and then put in the code for the description now and that one for the description go down and then in the zip code 10020 and then give a tap and then choose one of them and click on okay and then submit it that's it and go there the address line one is so a k01 underscore address two is the one and go there click on submit so by which we have now completed what the address creations now and go there click on it will not take up the next stop and go there no no so we'll now go to the main manage legal legal address in the one find i think copy it we'll now create the legal address now click on that now we'll now create the link done and then manage legal address i'm going to create it enter now enter now so manage legal address is fine enter now so we are now uh, sorry, sorry. No, yes. sorry sir just i joined uh, okay, okay come on come on watch watch keep watching it now fine okay. so k01 and then is a legal address 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 one legal address fine go there click on it i will now put the postal code 10020 and then give a tab now <clears throat> So it's coming. Fine, go there. So one zero zero two zero, and then click on search now. It will show you. Fine, choose one of the combinations. So once when they put the postal code, automatically everything else will be going coming over there now automatically. And click on OK now. It's not coming. Fine, it's not gone. Fine, it's OK. And then click on save and close by which the legal address is not done. Fine, K zero one legal address is not created. This is the legal address of a company actually where we are implementing it actually. Go there. So click on. So go there. And then go to the manage legal entity is the one. Go there. Click on it. Well, no. Go and then create the legal entity over there now. It's manage legal entity. <clears throat> Go there, click on it. Let us now create a legal entity. So here, when you click on it, it will be coming only to the creation page. Actually, afterwards, you cannot see this legal entity at all. I remember K01 underscore legal underscore entity. I'm putting it up. I'm going to it. It is K01 underscore legal underscore ident ID ident identify. I'm going to that. It's okay. And then address is what? J01. It's not, it's not J01. It's a K01. Thank you for that now. That will be coming. And go there. Enable these two, fine, and then give the uh, the business uh, corporate business number. I will not say it's that K zero one one two three, and then give the K zero one four five six. This you will be identifying from the client, and then you will be doing it now. Fine, as of now, I'm now putting some numbers. Is okay. And go there. Registration phase is new. It works very well with the US uh, information, so use it now. Fine. The legal entity is now created. The legal entity gets created. Fine, go there. So the way you do it now. So we go there and then take a copy of the next one. Now, fine, it is a legal entity HCM information. The next task you take a copy. We are in the 12th point now. Fine, go there. So once when it is completed, once when the legal entity is getting created, fine, go there. Click on done now and then come out of it and then we'll go to the legal entity HCM information. Now. So click on it. Go to the search now and then paste it over here and then enter it now. <clears throat> legal entity HCM information is the one. I'm choosing it. I go there. So I will now query my K01 and then enter it now. It has to come. So for him, he is not coming. Fine, go there. Click on it. There is a mistake there. It's not coming for him. Now, fine, go there. Click on it. And then I will now go to the edit and then I perform an update. Update is a preferable mode than correct now. I click on OK. And then you go to the payroll statutory unit and then add a thing, LDG. If LDG is not added, it will not work at all. Remember, LDG is a must now. So go there. US LDG is not coming. Fine, click on search and then search for the US now. Fine, US and then click on search. I will not use the US legislation for the training. In reality, the financial team or the HCM team will tell you which LDG you have to attach it now. Fine, go there. Click on it. So click on submit now. So we are submitting it. So once when it is submitted, requery and then see whether your LDG is associated to the LE or not. Fine, that is a very important one now. Otherwise, it will not be proper. Fine, click on done now. Come out of it. And then it is now requery it again. Fine, click on search again. Search again. And then click on the hyperlink of this now. Go there. And then click on the go to the, go to the legal employer. And then again, come back to the legal employer. Now it is associated. Sometimes if it is not done, you have to redo it again. Remember, the LDG association to LE is a must actually. Fine, click on done now. It is not done. And go there. We'll now go to the what next one for chart of accounts value sets. Fine, take a copy it. We'll now go there. Go to the task. Fine, click on done now. We're going to do it. <clears throat> Paste it over here. Enter it now. Manage chart of accounts. <clears throat> Sir, now class will again. Now three people from now. Okay, now class will again. Manage chart of accounts value sets. Fine, click on it now. <clears throat> Go there. Click on plus, and then I'm going to create a company value set over here now. So it's a K01 underscore company <coughs> value set one. Value set one. I'm creating it now. So company value set, I'm going to create it now. Take a copy of it and then put on the description, paste it over here. Module is general ledger. Go there. General ledger is the module. It is going to be independent, and then there's going to be uh, character, and then there's going to be text now. And then it will be of two characters now. And two characters. So save and close. This is now completed. K01 company is now completed. If I click on OK plus, and then I'll now create. I'll now say K01 underscore department DPT underscore value set two. I'm creating the value set two now. So take a copy of it and then put a description now. And then module drop it down. It will be coming in the top itself. Fine, choose it. And then here it is independent. 
and then here it is the character <coughs> and then the text now fine it will be of three characters in nature now fine so make it as a text now and then this is of three characters and then click on save and close we'll now create the final value set which is required for our uh, for our testing actually fine go that click on it is a k01 underscore accounting account underscore value set three i'm not going to create it now fine go that. take a copy of it and then put in the description now fine go that module is general ledger drop it down we'll be finding it out from the top and then here make it as what independent and then here i know go there make it a character and then make it as a text now <clears throat> text and then this is the four characters four characters so click on save and close by which we have now completed everything go on then make a query on the k01 and then enter in we'll now have all the three value sets ready now fine we'll not done so click on save and close whenever such a thing comes what happens you give a save and close save and close and submits are really must actually fine go that we want it is not done so we're not done it fine go that so the chart of accounts now we'll now go on then create a calendar actually fine take a copy of it and then we'll now go on the create a calendar calendar has to be created fine enter it so we go on and create a calendar manage chart of accounts calendars now <clears throat> and then click on plus let us now create a calendar so it's k01 underscore acct accounting calendar actually fine it is an accounting calendar so go there and then take a copy of it and then put on the description now <clears throat> paste it over here ah good yeah. 1121 is a done fine is a january i'm now giving it now fine go there uh, separate is high one it's okay and then it is one at the once at the year end is okay fine click on next now fine this is sufficient now and the name i have not given up and name i have cut it actually fine. click on next now so it will come it will automatically create the 13 periods including the adjusting period now the bottom fine click on seven close by which order the calendar creation is now complete go there will now go to the place will now go and then go to the manage chart of account structures actually fine go that click on it and then it is now getting saved now so january 21 onwards is now beginning and then we are now going to go and then create our structure actually our enterprise structure or rather uh, our chart of account structure we are going to create now <clears throat> so it is now done fine click on done and then come out of it will now go to the structure now paste it over here enter now fine manage chart of account structures enter now we are going to create so open it and then click on search it will be giving you only one key flex field on this now click on manage structures and i'm going to create the structure i click on plus now let me get the structure <clears throat> so go there it is a k01 underscore structure structure fine take a copy of it and then put on the name and then put on the description now i go there the delimiter i will now make it as a hyphen now and then at this stage you have to save then only the the plus symbol will be coming delimiter is what hyphen now fine make it as a hyphen and then click on save the plus symbol will be coming let us now go on and create our segment now so here it's a k01 underscore company segment now company segment is the one so take a copy of it and go there ap name don't put anything it will be coming automatically and paste it over here paste it over here and then this is sequence number 1 prompt and then short prompt and go there display with this 20 characters now fine go there it is a segmental one is a column name i'm going to map it now fine drop it down and then choose our value set actually and go there click on search now let me query for the k01 k01 i'm querying it now go there click on it. i will now use the company value set and click on okay now And this is a very sensitive one have a look at it again and again and then before committing it actually fine go there so we'll go there so we'll now use the primary balancing and then bring it over here make a check of it now fine fully make a check of it and then afterwards uh, you can now go there and then click on save and come fine everything is okay or not range range they must be blank actually fine display fine this much is okay fine click on save and close it's a very sensitive one you do it very properly actually the company value set is now created we'll now go and get the department value set now so k01 underscore department value set i'm creating it now fine go that you want to take a copy of it and leave the apa name it will become getting created automatically fine go to the description and then here is the segment value soon now fine go that you want to prompt it and then here go there paste it over here display with this 20 characters fine go that it is segment 2 we are going to do it now and then here i will again drop it down and then choose our value set now fine click on search and then here i will now give k01 and then enter now fine you know choose the department value set for this now <clears throat> click on okay <clears throat> department is going to be a cost center i go there so you can now see the cost center coming up fine so this is basically a flex field qualifier here is known as a label actually fine again make a check whether everything is correct or not fine click on save and close now it's not done fine don't make any mistake in this place it is a very important one and then there's a bottleneck setup for all people now actually it is accounting so i'm now creating the final segment of my key flex field actually i go there i will now paste it over here and click on the description now i go there display sequence is 3 prompt is this yes sir sir how are you calling edama idu apparam mudikira mumbles nee vudu vudu nee adu paakada segment 3 i am going to click on it drop it down <coughs> click on search now <coughs> it is a k01 and then enter now go there it is basically an accounting segment fine click on okay it is not up fine go there so here the it is a natural accounting segment now fine go there so we need to have one natural accounting one cost segment and then one primary balancing fine click on save and close this is all created now fine click on save and close come on away can i search for all the uh, implementation these three are must right minimum they are minimum fine they are minimum required fine minimum is okay. required fine go there click on it so these are the three minimum which is required now fine you may even go for seven segment or eight segment normally it will be seven or eight segments actually 
fine. These okay. three minimum uh, thing are required actually. One cost center, one balancing, and then one uh, primary balancing actually, and then one uh, natural account. So you go to the structures and then don't create a structure actually. Fine, click on plus now. I'm not going to get disrupted. So go there. It's a K01 underscore COA01. And go there. Click on it. You take a copy of it and then again, APA name, don't touch anything. It will come automatically. Fine, paste it over here. Click on the description now. Fine. And then go there. And then I will not choose this now. Fine, go there. Drop it down and then choose this now. Fine, it is a K01 now. Fine, K01 structure is the one. Fine, go there. Click on it. It comes over here. And then the required has to be enabled. Fine, go there. Select the company and then click on edit and then make it as a required actually. And make it as a required. Fine, click on okay. No, no. You go to the department and then make it as a required. Now. Edit and then make it as a required. <coughs> required is not made. Fine, go there. So click on it and then click on okay. <coughs> and then go to the accounting and then click on edit now. And then I'm going to make it as a required. So click on okay. And then click on save now. Fine, go there. It's not done. Fine. Click on done and then what happens? Come out of it. Fine. Not done. So we'll now go on and deploy it. Fine. Everything is not done. Fine. Click on deploy. So the deployment is going to speak now. Fine. So during the deployment, it will not take some time. We'll now complete the other, other activities now. You go there, go to the top, and then right click and then duplicate now. The top, right click and duplicate will be coming one more thing. Fine. It will not take up one another activity. Fine. So this is now getting deployed. We'll now uh, go there. We'll not jump into inventory directly. Fine. Go there. We'll not jump into inventory and then uh, do the other activities of inventory actually. Fine. Go there. This is getting this is getting notifications. So we do this thing. So we will have to what manage facility shifts is the one. Fine. We'll now go there. We will not take up the shifts now. Fine. Go there. In this place, we will not create a shift actually. Go to the setup and maintenance. Let us now complete. Parallel multitasking is a must now. Fine. You must be able to do multiple things in the same time actually. Manage facility shifts is the one. The inventory part. Fine. Click on it now. And now create it. Go there. Click on plus now. I'm not going to get the facility shift. <clears throat> so it's a K01 underscore facility shift. Facility shift, I'm creating it now. Fine. Take a copy of it and put it in the description now. And then here, code is what? K01. Start time is 8 a.m. Here, you have to discuss with the people and then uh, what happens? Get the timings actually. And, go there. and then I'm going to be giving what duration is 8 hours. And then go there. Uh, and then I have hours. If they have multiple ships, you have to create all the ships. Remember, category is what? Work from home, work from office now. And then here, ship detail is what? None. Make it as a none. Flexible and punch will not work because this is for flow manufacturing and then this is for labor management now, actually. When punch is for labor management, make it as none now. And then click on OK by which what happened? The shift is now created. The shift is now created. We'll now go there. We'll now take up the next one now. We'll now go to the workday patterns over there. In the meantime, we'll now see how much it has progressed. It is now progressing. OK, fine. Go there. Click on it. And then we'll now give it done now. <clears throat> And then paste it over here. Manage workday patterns. I'm going to make it now. Fine. Click on it. Facility workday patterns. I'm going to create. Fine. Click on plus now. Let me create the workday pattern. So I will now say K01 underscore workday pattern. I'm now creating it now. Fine. Brother. So I'll now put an underscore now. <clears throat> Go there. So take a copy of it and then put it in the description now. And then make it as seven days because we faced the problem. I already told you. Fine. Click on plus now. Probably that bug might have been removed now. I go there. I'm now going to go for one and seven now. Fine. Go there. Click the K01 and then give it a tap. It gets created. Fine. Click on save and close by which the workday pattern is ready. Fine. Click on that now. Fine. Go there. Click on it. We will now go and then create our schedule now. Fine. Go there. Click on it. So let us now go there and then create a schedule now. Paste it over here. Fine. Now. <clears throat> You're going to make a schedule. Fine. Click on it. So go to the physical schedule and then go there. Click on plus now. <clears throat> You're going to create it. Fine. Go there. It's a K01 underscore facility schedule. Schedule. Fine. Go there. So take a copy of it and then put it in the description now. Go there. Click on it. Category is work and then Quarter type is one of the quarters. Fine, go there. It is normally coming as only one day. Make it as five, four or five years now. And I made it five days. One day is now coming. Fine, click on plus now. Let me add my uh, facility workday pattern actually. Fine, sequence number one. Fine, go there. It is a K01. It has got a lot of importance only for planning actually. Fine, inventory do not have much of importance on this now. Fine, drop it down and then make a search. If it doesn't come, fine, click on search. It will be coming. Fine, go there. Select and then click on OK now. Fine, it's now getting populated. And that's it. So we have completed the schedules also. Fine, it is now giving you a warning. Because it is not uh, joining uh, the first day of the week is not proper actually. This has got a lot of imp importance only for the planning and not for the supply chain actually. Thank you, Connesmo. When you learn planning, they will not teach you a lot on this one. <clears throat> so that's it. Fine. We are now completed the schedule creation also. I'm going to click on it. We'll now see what exactly we can go hard now. Fine. So facility schedule now. Inventory org, we cannot create another way. The BU and LE are created for everything. And go there, go to this place and then see what, what I'm a deployment is broken, is not nearing completion. So once when it is completed, we will now go ahead with the financial activities as it's now. Fine. We have to wait for the deployment. So go there, click on that now. So we have to create other activities on this now. So once when the deployment is completed, it is on the 17th step actually. <clears throat> So once it is completed, we'll now go to the manage chart of accounts value sets. The one fine, take a copy of it and then we have to do it now. So wait for it to complete now. Fine, it's now nearing completion. So 36. So once when the deployment completed, message is coming, then we can go ahead on this now. Fine, do multitasking. That is very very important now. Fine, because the other activities needs the skill in financial structure to be completed actually. So we have to wait for it and then once when it is completed, we can go ahead and then do our activity on the financial spot. 
So once when the skeleton financial structure is ready, we can now go ahead and then set up our inventory and procurement. And then we will be doing it at 5:30 p.m. India. The remaining aspects of it now, right? <clears throat> the job creation, the position creation, everything. This has to be getting completed now. CVO is a heart of a structure, as of a heart of a ledger actually. So this has to be done properly. Then only we can do other things actually. So in today evening at the 5:30 uh, p.m., we are now going to create our users, the legal users. We are going to create. Remember, whatever user I have created is an IMP user. Implementation user is not fit for supply chain at all. For supply chain, we must have a user which is having a relation with LE and BU. LE and BU. Yeah, tell me. Business users. What is it? Business users, right, sir? No, we are creating a chart of accounts now. CVA, we are creating. It's not now, sir. In the evening, you are saying, na? So business users will. Ah, yeah, yeah. We will be you creating the business users actually. Any questions? Now the system is slow, so we have to wait for it. You can now see the deployment is completed successfully. Ah, yeah, done it. Okay, click on OK. Fine, it's not done. We will now go to this place, and then we will now go to the what's called paste it. Now, click on it. Manage chart of accounts value sets. I'm pasting it. Fine, go there. Click on it, and then let me query my value set. Now, fine, go there. K01 is the one. I'm entering now. I'm querying it. So we will now get. So every uh, what happens? Every value set is now having an association to flux field. Actually, just have a little bit of fun. We'll go to the company, and then click on the manage values, and then well, let's now create the values. Click on plus one. I'm going to create two values, 10 and 11. Now, fine, 10, 10. And then click on plus now 11. I'm going to get two values over here now. 11, 11, 11. So I click on save and close. The value is now created. <clears throat> go there. And then I will now go to the department. Fine. Click on edit. Click on manage values. And now I'm going to have two values. Now I click on plus now. I'll be creating what? 100, 100. And then click on plus now. I'll be creating 101 now. Go there. Click on it. 101, 101. Fine. Go there. Click on save and close. Now come there. We're now going to get four values to begin with. We'll be creating more values. During the procurement training, actually, fine. Click on plus. We are now going to get only four values of the natural account now. Thousand, <coughs> go there. Thousand is an asset account. Go there. Click on asset account. And go there. And then click on plus now. I now create a liability account now. One thousand one is a liability account. And go there. Click on it. I will now make it a liability. Make it a liability. So click on plus now. I will now go and then create an expense account. No, sir. One thousand one is an expense account. No, asset liability and then afterwards expense. Right? Mm -hmm. You can even do it anywhere, any fashion, whatever way you want. But remember the way in which you are doing it. Right? I normally do first asset, then liability, then expense, then owner's equity. Uh, you can choose any way, whichever way you feel like. But you have to remember it now. Right? Whatever you are giving it, you have to remember it now. Otherwise, it will be very difficult. It is the owner's equity. That's it. So we are having beginning with the four values. We will be creating more and more values during your purchasing accounting. Actually, I click on seven close now. There's no doubt. So during purchasing, we will be doing a lot. And then this is all completed. Fine, give us save and close and then come out of it now. Save and close and then come out of it. So we are now completed. So uh, we are now completed what? The 15, 16, 17, and then uh, this is now completed. We will now go on and create a ledger actually. So let us now create a ledger. You go to the manage primary ledgers. <clears throat> you click on plus one. So vision has got a problem here. I will not say you. Fine, go there. It's a K01 underscore primary underscore ledger. Fine, go there. So I will not take a copy of it. I have the habit of writing everything in small only for the training actually. Fine, go there. Draw chart of accounts and drop it down. Here, your chart of accounts may not come if it has exceeded the limit actually. So watch the eighth record and then see what how to bring it. If your chart of accounts is not listed over here, how to bring in, watch the eighth video and then do it now. So mine is what? K01. Then go there, click on it. That is my K01 is there now in this place. So go there. I will not choose that. Oh God, I made a wrong one. <clears throat> I choose the wrong one now. I go there. So I have to choose the appropriate one now. So K01 chart of accounts. Fine, go there, click on it. I will not choose the calendar also properly. If it doesn't come, I have explained on the eighth video. Just watch it and then do it accordingly. So where is my K01? Come on. Click on K. Huh? K. 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 K
wait for this to complete now. So once when it is complete, there's no complete, drop it down and then choose an American English now. Language is what American English here. Choose no fine, whatever you want it. So we'll not say US American English. That's it. Fine. When these two values are given, fine, give us save and close. The activity of specific ledger option is complete now. Save and close. The activity of specific ledger option is complete. Fine, go that point. So this is not done. So afterwards, what happens? You have to go there. Assign legal entities now. Fine. There is the next stop. 21 stops. Fine, go that point. You know, you go up now. Fine, go up. You can see assign legal entities coming as a second task in this list of managed primary ledgers when you query on the FSM now. So click on the assign legal entities. We are going to assign the legal entities to K01 now. <clears throat> So K01 is there. So click on the plus and then let me assign the legal entity. Fine, go there. Click on K01 and then click on search now. You're searching it. Fine, go there. Select it and then click on apply and then click on done. There's none. Fine, give a save and close now. Fine, this is not done. Next is what? Then assign balancing segment values to legal entities. Fine, go there. Go on. Assign balancing. I have already told you about uh, don't do this now. Fine, this is done by the financials, but normally for our training, whatever. This is sufficient now. Assign balancing segment values to legal entities. Fine, go there. Click on the scope is already selected. Fine, go there. So click on plus and then I'm not going to have only one segment now. Fine. In in practice, what happens? What how many companies are there? Every company will be having a balancing segment actually. So we are now going to use only one now. Fine, click on save and close now on this thing. This is not done. Fine, go there. So this is not done. Fine, go there. Now after having done this, we will now review and then submit it. Fine, go there. Click on it. We will now review and then submit. Fine, click on review and submit. Come on, we are now going to review and submit it now. <clears throat> so you can now see your ledger is coming here. The primary ledger, everything is coming. The legal entity is also coming. Click on submit now. It will be running a concurrent now. So we will now wait for it. So no need to wait because this is for basically accounting purposes now. Fine, we can go ahead and then complete our balance activities on this one. Fine, it's not running. So if you go there and then if you uh, what happens if you click on the home icon and then you go to the tools and then have a look at the scheduled process. Fine, go there tools and then have a look at the scheduled process now. Ah, uh, where is the scheduled process? It's not visible now. Fine, go there. Click on customize and then enable it now. So the tools, the scheduled process is not coming. Fine, put a tick mark on this now <clears throat> and then click on OK. It is not visible now. So we have to have a look at it. Fine, go to the tools and then look at the schedule process again. It's not coming. It takes some time actually. Fine. Sometimes it doesn't come immediately. Okay. Let it come. <clears throat> so I might not have enabled it properly or not. We'll have a look at the again. Tools. I put a tick mark now. Continue process. But it takes some time. Fine. So sometimes it takes time. It doesn't come immediately. Fine. Again, click on the tools and then again click on tools. Now fine. We'll now see whether the schedule process is coming or not. It is not in now waiting. Fine. Okay. So now once when it is completed, the managed primary will be having a tick mark, green tick mark now. Now, assign business unit business function is the task and go that click on it. Now go on and do it now. So I'm going to this place and then we'll now give it done now. <clears throat> we'll now go to the FSM area and then there's a scope specific task and then we have to query on this now. Make it as a financials and then assign business unit business function. Now, assign business unit business function. So select the scope over here. <clears throat> select it. Go there and then here. Uh, go to the apply and go to task. <clears throat> go there and then query for the K01 now. Enter it. So K01, we are entering it now. I'm going to click on it. So it is not going to come up now. What is it? Manage business units. This case. Oh God! Do you know why it's not coming? This task, the business unit is not coming. Right, tell me. As I is not created. Business unit itself is not created. <laughs> <laughs> I have jumped from year to year now. Oh God! Who is this girl who has correctly told? I have not created the business unit itself. Come on, yeah. <laughs> I identified that now. I need to cancel now. I not even create the business unit. Fine, go there. Come on. Click on search now. Let us now create the business unit now. Fine. Business unit itself is not created. That's not coming. Fine. Go to the manage business units. Let me create a business unit. Fine. Click on plus now. I'm not going to create it. So first RDS I'm going to create now. So let me create a RDS and then afterwards we go into the business unit name. I not create the business unit itself. Fine. Drop it down and then let us now create a RDS now. Fine. Click on create now. We are going to create a RDS. Now. So it's a what's called K01 underscore RDS. There are some capital letters are required. There is a restriction on this now. And then so I'm now putting everything on caps actually. Fine. So this is the one which needs some caps somewhere else. I think the set code needs everything in caps actually. Fine. I'm putting everything the same now. Fine. I'll now go there. I will now say K01 underscore business unit. Click on it. This is sufficient. Save and close now. Fine. Go there. Now we can very well go to the task of assign business unit business function. I click on the now. Go there. So here I am in the financials now. Fine. Go to the financials. And then the task, we go there. And then take up the copy of the task. And then paste it over here now. And then query for it. And then select the scope now. As I business unit, fine. click on select now. Now this time it will be coming. Hey, wow. Come on. Go there. Click on it. And then go there. And then K01. <clears throat> and then entry now. <clears throat> One the We got it. Fine. Click on seven close now. We are going to assign it. We are going to assign the business function right now. I go there. So here go there. I will be enabling the middle management. I will be payables. And then payables payment. Fine. Go the procurement. 
and then uh, we'll know, uh, we make it for receiving procurement recording and requisition fine this much is sufficient it is modular in nature at any point time you can keep on doing it now because at the point k01 and then give a tab now so if it doesn't come you drop it down and then choose it now if it doesn't come you click on search and then choose it now and k01 click on search select it then click on okay the illegal entity becoming put a tick mark on this and then give a save now fine because save and close it will be giving you a warning it will not say cheapo accept it and then go ahead now fine assign business unit business function is now completed go on go that set assignment is not required it will be done only by the financials actually fine now go on and have a look at it now fine so it will be managed business unit sir we have to do assign business okay okay done done okay it is done assign business unit. so assign business unit set assignments this will be done only with the financials we are not having uh, too much of a dependency on the reference data set actually fine they will be doing a lot so watch the financial training will not do it fine we are not doing anything at all fine go there so go there so set assignment is not completed fine go there so manage business this is not is only really for explanations i am not touching anything now fine this we are completed now fine go there click on it will now go and then create our inventory or no fine go there click on it will now go and then create our inventory or fine go there so we are not required to give data access to be no we are not come to the topic at all on data access to be you where we are gone we are not even touched it the topic okay. we are to come to, data access and all we are not touched it Oh. Go that manage inventory organization. Fine, go that click on. We are going as per our plan only. We are not doing anything beyond that now. Check, click on plus now. Go that. It's a K zero one underscore master. So we are now creating a master. Fine, go that. It is a capital K. Fine, zero one zero. I am putting it. And then business unit is K zero one. And then give it tap. And then uh, it will be coming automatically. Fine, go that. Location is K zero one. And then associate the zero to location for the master. Click on OK now. Fine. And then here legal entity is K zero one. Give it tap. Will be coming everything. The the profit center business will be coming. We will be explaining the profit center a bit a bit later. No, not now. Click on end. No, fine, go there. Click on it. I will now put the master org over here. No, fine. If this org and this org are same, it is a master org. Fine, go there. Click on it. Go there. Fine, go there. I will now put it. This is a E. No, fine. Is a is a K zero one. Then go tap the schedule. We have created it and drop it down. It is not coming. Drop it down and then choose. No, fine. Click on search. We are going to choose it now. So it's a click on search. I'm searching it. Select it and then click on OK now. <clears throat> It's not done. And then locate the control determined at subunit level, the best level. Fine, go that one, and that's sufficient. Fine, you can save and close now. Fine. So the master org is created. Let us now create the two child orgs. Now, fine, click on it. We'll now say it's a K zero one underscore child underscore one now. Fine. So it's a capital K zero one one. Fine. So capital K zero one one. Go there. Click on it. K zero one, and then give a tap. <clears throat> and then here it is a K zero one, and then give a tap. The first location. I'm going to choose it now. Fine, click on OK, and then click on next now. And then here I am going to choose now. You must enter a legal entity. You know that. So click on it. K zero one is the one. Give it tap. <clears throat> click on next. They're coming over here now. <coughs> here I am going to put a master org in this area now. Fine. When I put a master org, it automatically becomes a child now. Thank you. K zero one. So if both are same, it is a master. If it is different, it is a child now. Fine. Go there. Click on it. Now they are different now. This is a child. I am putting a master. It is a different now. Fine. Go there. Definition org. Definition reference org. I will be explaining it later actually. Fine. K zero one. Then give it tap. Drop it down and then choose it. Now search for it and then click on OK <clears throat> and then do it now. I'm going to click on it and then make it as what? Look at content. Remember, submit all. Thank you. Save and close. Now. That's it. We will now create the final log. The child two. We are going to create it now. I'm going to click on it. It's a K zero one underscore child two. I'm creating it now. Remember again, naming convention must be we in compliance with the customers actually. K zero one two. K zero one and then give it tap now. <clears throat> now coming up. So go there. K zero one and then give it tap. And then I'm going to put the second location over here now. And then put the LE over here. K zero one. And then everything is coming. Click on next now. <clears throat> go there. And then let us now put the master over here. It automatically becomes a child now. <clears throat> and you put the master. When this org and this org are different, this is a child org. And go there. Definition org. I will not make the revision as A now. And then K zero one and then give it tap. <clears throat> the final org which you are creating now. Drop it down. And then choose it. Click on search. We are going to choose it now. So click on search, choosing it, select it, and then click on OK now. <clears throat> and that's it. Fine. Make it as out. Look at the windows all fine. Close and close. All the three orgs are created. We'll now go and then query on the K01 and then make a search for it now. Fine. That's right. Everything is coming. Okay. Click on that. Now let us go to the manage locations and then tie the location to org now. Fine. Manage locations. Manage. Yeah. Nana said I had asked uh, last time also. So here also we have added locations there, and we are again tying it up. Is yes, that? Uh, yes. Tie, tying is a must actually. Fine. You have to put the location in the inventory org as well as you have to tie also. Fine. Both the things are must. Fine. Go there. Click on it. You know, it is yeah, now. Both are same, right? No, no. Both are actually it is a must actually. Okay. Fine. Go there. Click on it. So K zero one and then give it a tap. 
whether it's a mass star fine or the tick on okay now fine for us so zero to locations also the mass both the things are must actually no 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 effective start date uh, okay doesn't matter fine as far as location is concerned effective dot start date doesn't matter actually fine when you are updating it it will not put the today's date it doesn't matter fine but on jobs and positions it matters actually fine for that here it's okay here it's okay fine effective start date is okay because it will not stop your transactions only after this time fine that's okay this place is a good question fine for that one i'll not go up date now because when you get when you put a previous date it will not even accept it of an update now on update it will not accept maybe corrections it will now perform but updates is not possible on a previous date actually and with the case of one i will not put the location child one now fine so lock one to child one is a must fine click on submit now no doubt so go that click on it now <clears throat> go to this place and then it is now done <clears throat> and then the third location we are going to tie location organization tie is a must in fusion remember it is not must only for iris for it is a must in evs whereas here it is a must for each and everything now location organization tie is a must can one location be uh, no, assigned no, to multiple inventory no rooms? no no don't do it now fine it will not work at all <laughs> i go that click on okay now you know that thank you for something so we are now completed the location organization tie now we'll now go there and then pick up the what's called the next activity of sub inventory and locator creation fine take a copy of it now and go there click on it so click on okay and then you know that thank you for that now will now create the sub inventory fine paste it over here enter now <clears throat> click on manage sub inventory so locators you go that click on it organization is about k011 do not create anything on the master at all only on the child you create it now and let me click on plus now i'm not going to create it now. so create two 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 things now fine k01 <clears throat> uh, i will now say k011 underscore rms underscore one now fine the first r fine go that click on it take a copy of it and then put the description now have a habit of putting a location because it was a previously there is a bug actually here so i am now putting a location now i think they made a resolve the bug actually and any how are you make it as such now fine click on plus now it is now residing in which location we are now saying k011 and then uh, k011 underscore rms underscore 2 i am making now fine raw material stores we are going to create now fine we are going to now underscore fine over so we are now creating the raw material stores as a sub inventory a sub inventory is a physical container of materials actually fine we need at least one sub inventory in every or minimum at least i go that click on it we will not change the or i click on the change or and then i am going to make it as what two now i go that click on it so we don't give it so it will now become k012 fine click on plus now we'll now create two sub inventories in this or also go there k012 underscore rms underscore one now i go that so this first sub inventory is now getting created the next one now fine go that k01 this time when you put it it now that second location will becoming because of time now because the time it automatically populates only the second location now fine click on save so click on it and then click on plus now we'll now create the second rms over here now fine it is a k012 underscore rms underscore two now So take a copy it and then put the description now and then go there. Click on K zero one and then go tap and then click on save and close by which it is now completed. Now. So we have now completed the task of what happens is the sub inventory creation now. Fine, we will go down and then we will go to the manage job creation. The job creation I'm going to do. We will now create the jobs now. Fine, manage jobs is one. Here this is date sensitive actually. Fine. So see read that everything is one one fifty one over there. Here I will now say K zero one underscore junior manager. And then the code is a unique representation of a name. Now, fine. Always copy and then do it. So that what happens? You will be having a note a clash now. <clears throat> it is a unique uh, identifier for a name. Actually, fine. Click on next now. Go there. We are going to go on the go ahead of this now. Fine. Next. So junior manager. Fine. Make it as what full time. And then here make it as a regular. Fine. And then level is important. We are going to see on the hierarchical approval how it is playing a big role. Fine. Go there. So click on submit. This much is sufficient for job now. Fine. Click on it. Is one one fifty one. Fine. Go there. Click on it. <coughs> we'll now create the two more jobs, which is required for this exercise now. Fine, click on. <coughs> so click on plus now. We are going to get it. So here is the K zero one underscore assistant manager. <coughs> Go there. So take a copy of it and then put the code now. Fine, click on next. Go there. Go inside. And then it is one one fifty one only. Fine. Go there. Full time. And then make it as a regular. And then it is one thousand two. It's a higher level. Next level. Next grade. We can say. Fine, click on submit. It is not done. Fine. Go there. Click on it. And then we will now go on and create our final one now on this place. <coughs> Go there. So click on create. You know, create the final one. Go there. It's a J. It's a it's a K zero one. Fine. I'm making correctly now. Fine. If I'm making a mistake, please immediately point out to me. M G R manager. We are putting it now. Fine. So take a copy and then go now. Click on next. It's a common set. We'll be discussing about it a bit later. Now, fine. The common set. Fine. Go there. Click on it. I'll now go to the full time and then go there. Click on it. Regular. So this is a reference data set object. The locations, the jobs and departments are reference data set object. All these objects. Fine. This has to be done properly. And go there. Click on it. And then click on submit. So we have completed all the jobs now. Fine. Go there. Make a query and then see whether everything is coming or not. Fine. Go there. Click on it. It has to come over here now. One one fifty one and then eight. Fine. Go there. It's a K zero one and then entry now. Fine. Go there. Aiyah. All the things have come over here on the common set and then it's active. 
Now let's go there and then next one and go there. Click on the departments. Manage the department is the one. Fine. Take a copy of it and then go there and then create the departments. Manage departments. Entry now. <clears throat> I will now go on and create and then for a more uh, procurement perspective, we need to have only a department name, nothing else. No fine. Make department. Nothing else is required. Fine. Go there. Go there. And then we had to submit it. It is not coming. Fine. Click on next. We will now go in the train now till submit comes now. Fine. Go there. The department list is coming. Here is coming. Fine. Click on submit. That's how you go. So we are now completed the department creation. We will now go there and then get the positions. No, fine. Positions we are going to create. Click on it. Now we'll go on and get our positions. No, click on done now. Okay. And then click on done and then come out of it. We will now go on and get our positions actually. Paste it over here. Entry now. Fine. We are going to get three positions for this. So, click on it. so manage positions. Fine. Go there. Click on it. And then give a create. <clears throat> go there. It's 1151 and then the business unit is K01 and then give it app. It will be coming. So the name is what? You go there. K01. I will not say under the assistant manager mechanical. And again, talk to the end team and then accordingly create all the jobs and name, name positions accordingly. If I go there, and nothing over there. Click on next now. Go there. Go inside now. So here, department is K01, and then give it a tap. It will be coming automatically. If you put a K01, and then give it a tap. All the three jobs has to come now. Job. So if you have missed on the dates, it will not be coming properly. Go there. You wanna, you wanna. So go there. Make it as what? Approved, and then go there. Here, make it as a none. And then the full time equivalent, make it as a blank now. And then the full count is also make it as a blank. That is sufficient for a procurement trade implementation. If it is the HCM, they will be filling up so many things. You will not be doing this at all. Only for what happens, the supply chain management, you will be doing it now. It is not done. And click on S now. <clears throat> and a status show still proposed. Oh, no. How come? K01. I have not made a change. It must have got changed or what? K01. I am going to make a search now. So go there, click on edit now. And I will now give a correct mm -hmm. link. It is active. No, go there. Yeah, no, no. Actually, this what happens is uh, when we select the type as none, that uh -huh. I think it just gets changed to proposed. Oh, okay, okay, fine. Go there. It's mm -hmm. still 1151. Fine, go there. Make a, if, if there is a mistake, what happens? Immediately correct it. Good, good observation now. Fine, go there. Click on review and then submit. Now, there is a change. We are now making it now. Fine. I am now correcting the record. I am not updating the record, remember? So, updation may even uh, give some other problem with the new dates, actually. Fine. Proposed to approve. Fine. I am correcting it. When you go for update, it will be updating on today's date, actually. Fine. You will remember. Updation will be on a today's date. I am not correcting that record. Go there. So, go there. Click on create now. I am not going to get next record. <clears throat> so, I will not go there. It's a K01 and then give a tab now. It's a K01 underscore. Uh, what happens? A junior assistant manager mechanical. Go there. Click on next now. Go there. Go there. Go there. So, the department is K01 and then give a tab now. And then job is K01 and then give a tab. And then I will now put the assistant manager over here now. Fine, click on OK now. I will now make it as what approved and then make it as what none. <clears throat> okay, fine. It is now removed now. I don't know how to it. Fine, it is, again, when you make it none, it is now going to as a proposed fine. Go there. So have an observation that before doing it, what happens? Whenever you want to correct, you correct it and then do not update it. Update will now have a different dates and then that will be causing a problem. Fine, do a, only a correction actually. Fine, go there if you want. Yeah, no, no, I mean, if we first choose the none and then we choose the okay, hiring status. Who is this? Who is this? Uh, we know the nana. You know the okay, man. You know the saying. You choose none first actually. That's what he's saying now, man. Go ahead. So we are now going there. Click on search now, man. When you when you search for it, do not coming, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let us do the final one on this now. Go there. So K zero one underscore. <coughs> what was it? The NGR mechanical manager mechanical is one. Click on next now. A business unit is not given. Fine. K zero one. We go there now. Click on next now. <coughs> what is place? And then here. I don't go there. K zero one. Go there. Job is K zero one. And then give it app. And then I'll not go to the MGR. Fine, click on it now. <clears throat> Good observation by Vinod. You make this as none, and then afterwards change it. That's what I think. Full time equivalent, I'm removing it, and then I'm not removing it, and then afterwards make it as approved. And then it will not change. That's what I think. And then if you make a mistake, correct it, and then do not update it. So click on submit by which whatever they are not completed the third three positions also. So go there, click on it. <clears throat> go there, and then make a search. Fine. So Whatever I have done on the last two days, I have completed in how much time? How much of time? I started 905. Exactly 43 minutes. Is that 45 minutes now? <laughs> 43. 43. Okay, fine. Good. So that is it. I am a old man, 60 years old. You are fine. You people can do it even still faster, actually. <laughs> so but today, knowledge matters. <laughs> <laughs> today evening, we are going to begin the legal user creation. Actually. That will not be at this speed, actually. Fine. So last week, this is only covered, sir. Yeah, this is only covered in the last week, fine. So I have okay. done it in 45 minutes. You can do it in 40 minutes itself now. Fine. You're all youngsters actually. <laughs> <laughs> Any doubts? Anywhere? Anybody? You can even open up Not your like you, sir. 
you open up your video and then speak so that what happens it, otherwise it could be coming as a black screen now fine speak 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 now come on <laughs> anybody has got any observation jiva can you do it so, sir how to, how does the uh, yeah tell me tell me tell me yeah how does the company association or the business unit association happens with this job and position it's it's a separate entity going or so job is generic actually... and then it is so common across all the companies actually positions are bu specific and so you will be having a bu specific assignment for position sectors job is generic for across all the le sector so that will be happening basically <clears throat> you have to even discuss further on this with the what's called uh, with the hcm team hcm team will now throw more light upon this actually Uh, the timing of EBS, the business uh, unit. Can you open up your video and then speak so that we can all see also who is speaking actually? Open up your video and then speak. Yes, yes, Vinay, Vinay, tell me. Vinay, you will not give a priority to him. Vinay, open up your mic and then as well as your video also and then speak now. Yes, Vinay. Vinay Rangana from Bangalore. He is on a different ERP actually. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, your face is slightly move the camera down so that I can see your face now. Ah, good, good, good. Tell me, tell me. Yeah, tell me. your mic is off mic is off mic is off you you switch on the mic now yeah yeah yes okay. yeah, yeah, sir can you hear me yeah i can hear you i can hear you yeah okay. location to inventory or the this we have done in, in uh, ebs also here also we do yes, but yes. Uh, in business unit do we tie that uh, location to okay. ebs we do not tie any location to any org the org is what business group is an org ele is an org and then uh, ou is an org and then inventory is an org yeah. for all the yeah. four Tying of the location is not at all mandatory. Here for the inventory, we have to tie it. We have to use even for location. business unit. Even yeah. for business. No, so business unit is not required. Here, business unit location is not a mandatory. You can put it, but it is not a mandatory one. Okay. But it's only for representation purposes. The managers as well as location on the business units are only informative purposes. They don't have any functionality at all. But 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 uh, when I in EBS, uh, if if the location is not attached to that sub sub unit level, you cannot do any storage. That's no, a mandatory. No, no way. You need not have to associate a location that is required only for a receiving sub inventory and not for a storage sub inventory. Receiving will be taken care of by WMS actually. Only for a WMS, we need to have an association of a location to a sub inventory actually. Otherwise, normal sub inventories do not need an association to location in EBS. Here, it is a different concept altogether. Now, fine. <clears throat> You'll be looking at it while we are doing it now. Fine. Yes. Anybody else? Everybody can talk. Fine. Don't worry. Fine. Okay. Yes, Venkat. Do you have any other uh, thing? to talk or you can even ask think 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 and ask fine right? anybody else on the line you can even talk uh, the the position in uh, ebis is uh, business group level no 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 here yeah, yeah, they yeah. bring down to entity level yeah. any yeah. specific so to bu business? level good 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 uh, yeah bu level bu level yeah. yeah in the ebusiness the position can be at a three different levels either at the business group level or at the ele level or at the ou level also three yeah. organizations can be attached they are all them are called as organizations in ebis we can attach a position to any level Point, that flexibility has been removed. Everything is associated only to LE now. Mm. In fusion, all of them are associated only LE. There is no other way of attaching your employment to any other entities of a fusion actually. Yeah. By so default, there, there will be multiple split. records. So if same BU, uh, same business group, like uh, same legal entity, yeah. another uh, business unit, we want the same position. We need to create again in the. Yes, another. exactly. Yeah, positions are BU specific, and so what happens? We have to create it. multiple positions we are we had again yes it was a good observation and then i have never done that so only when uh, people with the multiple bu implementation you have to talk to them right when you get some uh, such a similar work please talk to them and then talk to your hcm team they will now give you more guidelines on this actually when i was implementing a project in kuwait where hcm is not involved my team in mailapur madras they were helping me at each and every stage actually right so i didn't made any mistake at all while implementing it for a bakery company in where there is no hcm at all human capital management is not done so i have done it fully i have done it actually in media has got any other doubt hierarchy and other things we will be i mean the so so far we are not attached with any employee so yes, that's sir. we are going to do it in the afternoon fine we are going to okay. attach it to the employee in the afternoon fine so we will be doing it the hierarchy and other things are almost same fine but the approvals are enhanced when compared to ebus ebus has got only position hierarchy and supervisor hierarchy here we have got six methods of approvals it is really enhanced it's a beautiful procurement is really a very good enhancement when compared to ebus now inventory is not so even inventory uh, it has not surpassed ebus actually fusion inventory has not surpassed ebus that is fusion procurement has surpassed ebus actually 
Sir, in the, in the supplementary creation, uh, I couldn't see uh, the differentiation for receiving and storage. Just we yes. entered the data. Yeah, exactly. So there is no such a differentiation between uh, receiving and storage. That will be taken care of by another uh, module. Actually, fine. The lock fire takes care of uh, what happens uh, as a receiving supplementary, actually, not fusion. Fusion takes it as only storage supplementary. And then uh, we will have some setups of uh, uh, lock fire. Uh, we will be seeing it during the training. Actually, there are some setups uh, which are going to help uh, lock fire. Actually. I mean, that is a separate uh, uh, what happens uh, instance actually, and that gets integrated to Fusion actually. Lockfire will be integrated to Fusion, and then be working in tandem actually. So uh, there in EBUS, the WMS, and then uh, your, in, uh, your, your discrete inventory are all uh, what happens in one instance itself. Here is a separate. Thing. What about sub inventory accounts, sir? While yeah, creating. Very good, very good question. No accounting now. No. Fine, we are going to see this. No. Fine, all the accounting has been shifted to cost management. So, but in fact, what happens uh, to perform a transaction, we have to have accounting actually. Fine. One, two accounts like inventory valuation and offset are required. So, only when you give the inventory valuation offset, you will not start to make transactions over here. No? Fine. That is a must actually. But every accounting will be done in uh, cost accounting. We'll be having a look at it later actually. Okay. It has been beautifully shifted. I attended this training in uh, Redwood shows in uh, Oracle headquarters. They give a lot of explanation of why they have shifted everything to costing, but it was going like a bouncer. I couldn't understand it because it was a very high level. So uh, since it is a worldwide participants, I didn't open my mouth much actually. <laughs> I just asked the question, and then afterwards, even though I couldn't understand, I just kept mum actually. Sir, sir, but uh, to, to even to create a PO in EBS, uh, the yeah. ch charge account should be defaulted. Of course, sir. So, it is a must. Uh, Here also, it is a must. We will have a look at it in detail while you are going going into the purchasing. Now, fine. I I hope that you will now get some uh, time to what happens uh, for uh, look at the training during purchasing because you are a big man. And then you may not be having time. Let us hope that you get time and then you participate. No. You ask questions there, no, right? <laughs> the charge, accrual, and variance are almost same like EBS, no, right? All the accounts are required here also. And we'll be having a look at it during procurement. <coughs> Dada, we know here. So I have one clarification. Yeah. So while doing that BU assignment set, I could see that uh, we had uh, mapped to the uh, new RDS which was created. But yeah. uh, earlier in the training, you uh, I mean you had mentioned it should be common. See, common set and it's only a rapid implementation will be common. Otherwise, normally what I was uh, the common set is uh, basically don't like by the HCM team as well as your uh, financial team because it is bypassing the security. So bypassing the security, they don't like it at all. So they normally create a RDS and then associate a BU. That is how they work upon, especially HCM. Let us say you are my subordinate. I can see your salary. You cannot see my salary. I can promote you. You cannot promote me. Likewise, there are so many such crisscross restrictions are there. So for which the common set is basically useless. It doesn't provide you the requisite security. Actually, fine. HCM when they make it, they never like common set at all. Okay. So for and this RDS, are we going to do any specific setup? Nothing. Nothing. Because nothing. they are all done only with the financials and HCM. So we will not do anything at all in this training. In the supply chain management training, we will not be doing anything at all. Okay. So, but RDS has some some restrictions to it. Yes. So, which we if you give a restriction, it is excellent actually. When you swipe a credit card for one thousand rupees, it lasts for the four digit pin. You swipe a credit card for one lakh, it lasts for the OTP also. That is additional security. So, additional security is going to safeguard you. Similarly, a B a business unit is having a security with the RDS. Then, other than common and enterprise set. It will be a safeguard for the people, basically, right? for the customer. Actually, will you be able to see that uh, security, Nana, for this no, RDS? What is different? No, we don't do it in this training. Fine, you have to attend a oh, oh, access okay. training or a HCM training. They will know oh, it. a lot on this uh, security actually, right? because oh, got HCM it. we are going to bypass. Got it, is not interested. But if they create it, we have to order it. Fine, we have to order to the situation. Fine. We will be in a lower level of a, a enterprise structure creation, and then will not be participating to a great extent as far as structure creation is concerned. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, how will we be use? Will we be using RDS anywhere? Like no. Uh, no. We will only use the RDS, whatever has been created by the supply chain as well as the financials or at CMT. No, we will we will be demonstrating everything on a common set actually. But you have to follow whatever they have created actually. Okay. That is one thing which you have to do in the field actually. For the training, we'll be adhering only to the common set actually. So common set is going to bypass all the securities. So we were interested in learning the functionalities and not on the security part actually. Okay, okay, sir. thank you. All of you, please open up your video and then speak so that we can see who is doing it now, right? So, sir, up to now, uh, the the role assignment for purchasing is not required. So we have done no, it. Not it done today evening. Okay. We are going to do it now, fine. Right? We are going to do the role assignment today evening, five thirty. Be there, be there. We are going to assign the roles for the legal users actually, fine. Right? The legal user itself is not created. 
Weaker users are the only users which are having an association to LEBU. They only can be used in entire supply chain. In EBIS, we have one, one thing. A user has to be associated employee. If a user is not associated employee, he cannot use in purchasing at all. That is the only thing. Whereas inventory and order management do not need a user employee association. Here it is not so. Every user must be having an association to LEBU. Otherwise, the users are not fit for supply chain transactions at all. You know, learn gradually all those things. They are not fit for any supply chain transaction. Every user, he is known as a legal user. If he is having an association to LEBU, those users are only fit for supply chain transactions. Yeah, there is a difference in this. Yes, anybody else? Open up your video and then speak now. Uh, Naran, do you provide training for planning also? No, I don't know planning yet. I went to learn it. <laughs> I'm somewhat lethargic in learning it actually. So I don't know when I'm going to learn now. <clears throat> okay. If I learn it, I will not do it. As of now, I don't know. Yes. Anybody here who knows planning? One second. In this group, anybody who knows planning? The planning basics. Yeah. Uh, yeah, very good. Fine. You know, there are three planning modules are the demand planning, supply planning, and then oper sales and operations planning. Good. Venkat knows planning. Good, good, good. Fine. No, uh -huh. basics are not, I mean, definitely <laughs> not to compare with you because you are a jet. <laughs> I'm a bullock art, I can say. <laughs> good. So, you know, Venkat knows some basics of uh, all the three planning modules. So, discuss with him and then get your clarify, get your doubts clarified, actually. Sir, Venkat, I, I'll call you. I'll connect. Mohammed Arif will now talk to Venkat regarding this. Fine. Good, good, good. Okay. Anybody else has got any doubts? Jyoti Kumari, are you clear upon this now? I completed it in 45 minutes time. Sir, sir, I'm going to work on this structure only in the second half at the 5.30 actually. Sir, yes. not related then directly to procurement, but uh, for the mobile receipt, when you have the handle devices and yeah. these are all the same setups? Yeah. Mobile or some... supply chain applications, I don't know how it is integrated. It is all integrated only in Lockfire actually. MSCA is all in Lockfire. So if anybody knows Lockfire, you can even talk to them and then understand about how the mobile applications are basically integrated. It is, it is, it must be, it is having it, I know. It's having all the MSCA part of it now. So only thing is you have to learn that module. It is a separate instance, actually. It is not a fusion instance. <coughs> so you have to learn it now. Yeah, sir, Dick, uh, normal business question, sir. Any uh, large organization is, uh, has been implemented so far, this cloud? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are many large organizations which have been implemented. Also. Like GE. Yeah, GE will always jump first, actually. I don't know whether GE has implemented Fusion or not, but there are so many things where the people are having even seven or eight business units also. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Satya from US, do you have any doubt? Chandrasekhar told me that he will be attending. He is a big man, actually. Chandrasekhar is there. Oh, he is not available. Because he's not late, actually. Fine. We use people. I don't find a good time to what happens to connect all the people in the world. Satya is in mute. Please unmute, sir. Ram, uh, whomsoever is speaking, please unmute and then speak now. And then open up your video also and then show it to me. Good. Then anybody, anybody else has got any doubt? Nishta, come on. Tell me your doubts now. Thinking, sir, what to ask now? <laughs> <laughs> you see, 45 minutes I created the structure now. It is not a difficult task at all. But you have <clears throat> made me shame. <laughs> <laughs> so the materials are too good. I had a cursory glance of uh, the entire uh, collaterals. Um, I'm really thankful. I, I can say already, even before the session, I started harvesting the return of investment. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Venkat. Mm -hmm. Can we get some user guides for some... Uh, yeah, your... is there. All the things are there. Can you go to the last... One second, I'll not show you where exactly the user guides are there. You have to know where, which is where, what. I'll not go to the drive.google.com. It's all given to you. You don't know where exactly it is. Open it up. So you open it up. In the bottom, you can see the student guides, activity guides, dumps, everything is there on this place. Okay, sir. Fine. Okay. Download this. And then it will be helpful for you now. Everything is there. Mohamed, that is a link. That The Word document yeah. is not a Word document. That shows a link. Yeah, exactly. And beneath that, uh, so many GBs of materials are there. Uh, I don't yeah, know yeah, if yeah, anybody yeah. have got life, lifetime. Is, uh, my web space, I have uploaded so many documents. Fine. It is, it is a Word document. And then if you open up the Word document, there is a link there. Fine. This is the one. So click on the link and then download everything. It is my OneNote drive actually, my SharePoint drive actually. 
Okay, so sir. Thing, I mean, and then make a check every one once in a month actually in the case. Fine. Check once in a month. Sure. And then so can we contribute to, some, can we contribute to these assets because i yeah, yeah. did have whenever i get anything new them. i will be putting it on this place actually sure sir i will upload it into the web space actually whenever i get anything new i will be putting it on this place actually. this is a very useful asset for you fine and then visit this place at least once in a month and then see if anything is new always whatever the download them thank first you for explore what all you are having you know fine you must know first of all go through that and then see explore each and everything can you ping that uh, link sir it is there with you okay yeah. you go to this place fine i told you now fine this link is available with you now okay. so if you go to the drive area the last one fine on okay. the inventory procurement yeah. training the last one is yours now fine that is the oracle so, student guide right it is the oracle. oracle student guide oracle activity guide actually okay if you undergo a training on oracle you will have plenty mm -hmm. of student guides and activities uploaded given by my students actually my students okay. are given me and then those things are come are here, here. we can we can download also right yeah right click and then see and then download the entire thing okay nana sorry one more question we know the yeah so as we have created organization uh, is there a way that we can check this inventory organization id or something nana Just... yeah 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 uh, okay i will uh, i have forgotten that i will now make a record on how to see the org id fine i have forgotten that i will now uh, just make a check of it and then if i am able to identify fine i have forgotten that actually so sorry, through nana, the business intelligence we can very well do it now fine you have to go there and then okay so everything will be on the front end only right nana I mean, yeah, yeah everything is on the front end fine if a technical guy is available he will not tell you but i have done it i have forgotten actually no problem no problem okay sir sir we have not uh, i i couldn't see or I, i would have missed we didn't see anything on the costing type with the no, inventory or we are ready to come nana we will be coming later now fine everything everything on the costing front will be fully explained to you that activity is set to come we have to see a lot on this now fine so complete your enterprise structure fast people are struggling here at selvan i want them to complete it fast because our activity is not enterprise structure but supply chain actually we have got lot of things to do on supply chain actually. today onwards will be landing we will now make a deep dive into supply chain actually be available there at 5:30 pm india and then we will now begin the legal user creation and then go ahead on supply chain actually nana we can uh, use the report and analytics otb report to get the org id nana okay yeah so surya is already done surya is a excellent resource he is now implementing a lot actually so he is saying that through the using the reports and other analytics we can very well identify the org id of inventory orgs actually thank you nanda if you have any good docs uh, please send it to me i will now upload it to, for the students actually good yeah sure nanda any questions from anybody else so good then i will be uploading it into our uh, drive actually this one and then uh, watch it and then uh, be ready right okay. bye for now and then we'll meet again thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir